the intensifier of the conflict on the territory of Ukraine has increased. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook, information as of 6 on 18 January 2023. Over the course of the past 24 hours, enemy forces carried out 14 air strikes and 6 missile strikes, including 3 on civilian infrastructure in the cities of Kupiansk and Kramatorsk. They deployed multiple launch rocket systems to conduct 95 attacks. Over the course of the past 24 hours, enemy forces continued to deploy mortars and artillery to fire along the entire line of contact. Units of the defense forces repelled the occupiers' attacks in the areas of the settlements of Bilahorivka and Sil, Krasna, Hora, Bakhmut, Kalishivka, Vodyane, Nevelske, Marinka, and Pobiata. The general staff also reported that Russia has been forced to bring in Russian officials in order to assume administrative responsibilities in the occupation government on the temporarily occupied territory of Ukraine due to the lack of the Ukrainian officials willing to collaborate with the occupation regime. There is also a shortage of workers in a range of industries as local residents refuse to work for the occupiers. Russians are trying to bring workers in from Russia and temporarily occupied Crimea. To reach all actual news fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.